Bogota, Colombia, a city that was transformed by its mayor, Enrique Penalosa, who believed that building cities for people and not cars is what makes the world a better place to live. In Seoul, the city mayor decided to dismantle the freeway built over the river. And the New York mayor freed Times Square from cars. Here in India, every minute at least 40 vehicles are sold. That makes it two crore vehicles in a year. 99% of them are private vehicles. Cars are getting faster. Urban India is moving slower. Battling traffic congestion, hunting for parking space, breathing in toxins. And the consequences are catastrophic on safety, health, economy and happiness. The big question is, can we change this? Just imagine, Bhopal International Airport is built on 2,000 acres, investing about 1,000 crore rupees and serves over 1,200 passengers. While Bhopal Bus Terminal is built on just 5 acres, serving more than 1 lakh passengers per day. Delhi Metro carries 25 lakh passengers with an investment of 45,000 crore rupees. DTC buses carry 50 lakh passengers with an investment, well, so do we need bigger, better roads? Indeed, yes. Fortunately, the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways of Government of India, under the dynamic leadership of Sri Nitin Gadkariji, is building roads and highways at the speed of at least 30 kilometers per day. But the biggest question is, are we moving vehicles or moving people? What we need the most is the biggest ever push to public transport, where cities offer excellent infrastructure for buses, both public and private, where metros, railways and airports offer priority to buses, where bus operators find regulatory framework, simplified taxation and ease of doing business, where public-private partnership is encouraged and private sector participates in the transformation. Then, citizens will certainly opt for public transport. And what would be the impact? On a per-person basis, infrastructure cost will be 10 times cheaper. Foreign exchange savings will be over 80%. Pollution will be 40 times lower. Accidents will reduce to less than 10% than the present levels. But the government cannot be doing everything. We have taken a positive step. The Bus and Car Operator Confederation of India is now formed with over 10,000 operators from 25 states who are responsible for carrying over 65% of the passengers who travel by road. And we are all here today under the banner of Prawas, committed to safe, smart, sustainable passenger mobility, where 100 experts will capture new trends and provide thought leadership. The exhibition will be a showcase of the latest and awards will recognize and encourage the best in the industry. So let's get inspired by the Bogotas of this world and unite in thought, deed and spirit. A developed country is not a place where the poor have cars, but it's where even the rich ride public transport. Our time starts now. Let's work towards moving people and not just vehicles. Presenting second edition of Prawas towards safe, smart, sustainable passenger mobility. Be there.